You feel like you're in a rut? According mm -hmm. to Forbes, more than half of Americans say they're unhappy at work. Do something about it. Start a career in an industry at a place where no two days are ever the same because <laughs> Saul's is hiring. That's right. General Manager John Deneen is here. Good to see you, John. Good morning, Hi, John. Guys. John, I hear there's going to be an influx of former Pokemon hunters that are going to be oh, looking boy. for jobs here. <laughs> What, what, type of pe <laughs> what type of people are you looking I for? I could definitely see that. Yeah. You know, I love these segments because it's a chance for me to explain to everybody, you know, why I love this business, uh -huh. why I got into it. Um, but like you said, we can offer something different to somebody every day. You know, I think a lot of jobs say that, um, mm -hmm. but a lot of times it's the same thing over and over. We're every day with us, with customers, with different product. Mm -hmm. Everything, every day is different. You never know yeah. what's going to come in. Yes. You never know who's going to come in. And, and you, you do see some really offbeat things that come really, through the store. It's cool. It, it's very neat. Mm -hmm. And every day we're going to teach you something. We're going to train you on different aspects. So, you know, you might not care about musical instruments or firearms, but by the time we get done with you, you're going to know a lot about them. You're going to know pricing, what to look for, how to, you know, how to price something like that. So, you know, we're looking anywhere from sales representatives to loan officers, but we're also looking for some technical uh, sides too. Yeah. We need bike repair people. Uh -huh. We need jewelry repair people, electronic repair. So a lot of things that go into, you know, kind of behind the scenes, not mm -hmm. only on the forefront, but people that have great backgrounds in mechanical work, all that mm -hmm. type of stuff. We have so much product there for them and so much work for them to do. We're looking for some great apps. Yeah, and you're, you're looking for so many different uh, positions that yes. the type of experience needed differs between a lot of those people. It, it really does. And at most of the time, you know, for our sales staff and for our loan representatives, all I tell them is I'd love them to just have a job with the general public at mm -hmm. some time, you know, because I can teach them everything about this business. I can teach them all about how we price things, what we take in, what we don't. But, you know, a lot of times it's difficult for us to, you know, get people to go out there and really talk one on one with people mm -hmm. and, you know, look them in the eye and just have a great, you know, just camaraderie with our customers. Mm -hmm. And we understand at Saul's that we don't, you know, our product is great, but it's our people that the customers keep wanting to come back and see. Mm -hmm. And a lot of our people that you, know, we have over 100 people on staff, they have a great, great customer base that come in, want to see them every day. Mm -hmm. Just talk and yeah. you'll see stuff different. <laughs> and man, those people on the sales floor, there's a, you learn a lot on the job too, as all these yeah. different products come in, you learn. There's so much information in this guy's head mm -hmm. about stuff. Well, and, and that's what's great about it is that, you know, when people come in and go, well, do I just sit at the counter or do I go out and jewelry? It's mm -hmm. no. You know, you could be one minute selling a two, three thousand dollar ring. The next I'm going to pull you over here and you're going to sell a twenty dollar drill. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> you kind of just shift your uh, shift And you your might thinking. sell both of those things to me. You're exactly <laughs> those right. Are my that's two what's favorite even great. Departments yeah. of the store. Every time somebody um, comes in, you go, wait a minute, they're probably in here for jewelry. Nope, it's nope, for tools. Nope. Right, right, uh, tools. What, what do you have to offer, John? Because, you, you know, uh, people want to know how do you stack definitely. up to other companies? What types of benefits, well, hours, all that? And that's something we have really learned over the last couple of years. We have to be competitive in this market. There are so many companies out there that are offering great benefits. Mm -hmm. And so we had to look at our thinking and go, you know what, we want people to stay around. I don't want somebody to come in for a couple months, train them, and then they leave. I want them to stay. I want them to make a future with us. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so, you know, we have from simple IRAs to health insurance to very flexible hours. You know, since we're open seven days a week, I can work with a lot of people's schedules. I have mm -hmm. some teachers on staff that come in at four mm -hmm. till close. I have some people that go, you know what, I only have in the mornings because my kids get off at school at three. Come in, we'll work with you on that. Paid vacations. It's just a great place to come in and just a great experience. Yeah, like you said, you got a lot of great products in there, but it's a relationship business. It really is. And you've got great relationships not only with your customers, but yes. your employees mm -hmm. as well. Where do they need to go to apply? And the best thing to do is come in in person. You can come into any of our six metro locations and apply with us. Uh -huh. If you want to get an interview right away, you can actually stop into 120th uh -huh. uh, and speak with me right away. You can also go to my 142nd U Street store and speak with my manager, Tyler, out uh -huh. there, who's awesome. Mm -hmm. Anybody you want to speak with as far as management goes, you want to get in right away. We're hiring on the spot. So right. we'll get you an app and we'll get you going this week. The uh, email address that's on the screen right now, that is if you'd like to send a resume at this moment, yes. at any point in time, that's where you will send them. Okay, John, um, I've been wearing a bracelet here that we'll yes. want to um, show our viewers nice. Uh, nice and close. Just a very, very nice, elegant piece. It sits low, really flat to the arm. Pretty. It's an 18 carat. It has a little less than three carats of round, brilliant diamonds. Mm -hmm. 
all around actually in just different shapes right there. So Beautiful. it just gives a really, really neat look that sits it. on that wrist. But it's also flexible, so you don't yep. have something that's going to hold stiff, or if it catches I on something, loved, it'll have a little give. And I will say this, because you know some bracelets are hard to get yes. on and off by yourself. Um, this is one because of the clasp design. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of women would find that it's easier to wear. And because it is flexible, you can sit and like wearing a bangle, you can sit and type and have it resting on a desktop and not worry about it. Correct. It has that hidden clasp in there. Mm -hmm. So actually the diamonds are on the clasp. Here, I'll so show you. It's kind of tough to see even that to find it. That is the clasp. Yes. But it, mm -hmm. it is covered in diamonds like every other link. So you would never know. You would even know it. So if it turns on your wrist, mm -hmm. no problems. You won't even see it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this excuse gorgeous. my boo boo that, there. But this is, is just ring? another. Gorgeous Ooh. piece that we have in. We have a I great selection of all color that. different sapphires. Yeah. This is actually an 18 carat. It's set with almost two carats uh, worth of London blue sapphires right in the oh, center my there. Goodness. Almost three quarters of carats worth of diamonds. They're kind of tough to see because they're down the sides mm -hmm. and actually in between the sapphires there. Those are baguettes. Yes, if baguettes that are in there. Stones, Round really brilliance pretty. on the sides. Just a very that neat piece. Elegant piece as well. Wow. Decent price point, once again, mm -hmm. on, on a little on the upper end. So, looking at retail, you're probably going to look to spend anywhere from eleven to twelve thousand yeah. on this piece. Yeah. yeah. With our viewers, you're looking at three thousand oh, dollars. Well, Cal. the quality yes. of those stones. It and really the gold is. Weight. It's I mean, nice, heavy oh. piece. It's made very well, and it sits. It's kind of got a low profile that. as well. So, I'm thinking it's not about my be mom, who's a nurse, mm -hmm. my neighbor, who's a nurse practitioner, all of these people who work in the medical field or with kids or Correct. pets, whatever. And you don't want a lot of prongs. This would be perfect. That would be a Perfect, perfect. The bracelet's going back to 120th. The yes. ring is going to be with Mary. We've got mm -hmm. a question. This is a viewer question. Is there a difference between lab created and synthetic gemstones, John? Well, pretty much lab created stones are what it's talking about. It's actually created in the lab. And so that's, they kind of talk about lab created and synthetic, mm -hmm. very similar. You can also have colored glass out there. So you okay. want to be careful what you're looking at. You have your genuine and then you have your lab created that have the, all the same characteristics. They're just grown in a lab under controlled environments. Mm -hmm. yep. Then, of course, you have your colored glass. Glass pieces that okay. we want to look at. Yep. So the synthetic and the lab created very similar. Okay. Of course, if you have a question, just email them to value at omahamorningblend.com. John will answer them on air. Six metro locations and the newest one right there in Millard. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to apply because John's been working there forever and he loves it. Yes. I think that says everything, it's John. Really, we have people on staff that have been there over 20 yeah. years, yeah. not yeah, just me, but a lot of people. And that's not so. a coincidence. No, it isn't. Right. They, they really enjoy what they do, so please stop in. Thanks, thank Johnny. you, John. Yes, thank you. Great to see you. Guests of the morning.